Praise God, in Psalm 62, I want to read 5 through 8, if you would. Praise God, my soul waited thou only upon God, for my expectation is from him. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be moved. And God is my salvation and my glory, the rock of my strength and my refuge is in God. Trust in him at all times, ye people. Pour out your hearts before him. God is a refuge for us. Selah. Now that, 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 that's a Hebrew word that just means rest. It is used, praise God, not only in music, but it means to take a rest. Once you put it in the hands of God, Tell somebody just rest. Yes, Hallelujah. He's got the rest. Of it. God bless you. Hallelujah. You can just see. Thank you for standing in reference to the word of God. I want us to understand something now. As we are in this society today, we must deal with uh, how we walk before the presence of the Lord. Uh, it, it, it is important, praise God, uh, in our post uh, era. And I want to say post era, pastors, because we went through an era where we were naming and claiming it. And bless the name of the Lord, we named it and never got to claim it. Bless it. Oh, y'all not fooling with it. 
Hallelujah. We, we, we went through an era where, you know, you could just call things down, even though it wasn't your season. Oh, bless the name of the Lord, and God would automatically just drop stuff in your lap. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, bless it. We lived in kind of lies, but we were still going to get the blessings of God. Ah, that was what we were preaching. And so in this post era, we are looking at the church reeling and rocking, trying to find her faith back again. Uh, because she has been so duped by the masses. Uh, one, one writer equated it to that of the slave master. He said that many of our pastors have become uh, as slave masters, just pulling things that God never said, promising something. That God never promised. And as a result, the people of God, and I heard you, Bishop, tonight, uh, 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 Apostle, praise God, a lot of people, as a result of what has happened, uh, now do not want to give. Uh, and though giving is uh, the plan of God, we have been so disappointed in giving uh, until now our expectation is showing up in the lack of money in the basket. Oh, oh y'all not fooling with it yet. That's the name of the Lord. Says, I still want to do what I say. Uh, just because somebody else lied to you, do you make me a liar too? Uh, why? He said, I'm going all by myself, and if I said it, I will uh, perform it. I'll, I'll bring it to pass. For God stands over his word to perform it. Is that what he says? Uh, and so God says, I need my people to come to a place that they're walking. Uh, in expectation. Uh, if you're asking God for ministries, expect it. Uh, uh, God says, I'm tired of folk. And Israel had gone through such a battle. Uh, they had been beat up so badly until God says, I need to tell you what my heart is for you. Uh, my heart is that you would be blessed. Uh, that you would be above only and not beneath. Uh, my heart is that you would be, oh, y'all not fooling with this, the head and not the tail. That's what I have for you. He says, so I need you to walk in a spirit of expectation. For so that is what I have for you. I don't want you to get up tomorrow and say, oh, it's all over. Ah, oh, my best days are behind me. He said, no, 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 no. I know the thoughts that I have toward you. And baby, your ladder is going to be greater than your fault. Let me, let me move. Hallelujah. Now, now I, I, I need us to deal with this because... When David writes in the book of Psalms here, he says, what I need you to understand is it, that uh, my expectation is not in the economy. Uh, for in the economy, we're having a recession. Uh, the banks are missing. Uh, the car dealerships are closing. Uh, uh, but my expectation is not in the economy. Oh, listen, y'all not fooling with a listen. Uh, he said that I know a lot of marriages are falling apart. I know more marriages are ending in the first year than's lasting in the first year. He said, but my expectation is not in man. Are y'all seeing this? My expectation is in the Lord. This is what he says in verse 5 of, of chapter 62. Now let's go and I'm going to run very quickly. We, we want to deal with Abraham, uh, uh, the three enemies of expectation. Uh, the three enemies of expectation are where, when, and how. The three enemies of your expectation are where, when, and how. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. You all aren't fooling with it yet. But listen, uh, uh, if you begin to deal too deeply uh, with when, uh, you'll get anxious. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. And the word says, uh, be careful for nothing. That, that, that translates to be anxious for nothing. And so when the Lord begins to deal with us, he says, I don't want you to set a time on me. Because if you say that I'm going to bless you on Wednesday, uh, but my plan is Thursday, uh, you could have given up the faith on Wednesday uh, and uh, disallowed the blessing that was due you uh, because you, mm, without faith it is impossible to please him. So don't set a time on what God is going to do. Don't worry about the wind. Uh, God's got that and he's going to take care of you in the wind. I tell people all the time, uh, uh, Bishop Terry, it's all right to wait if you're waiting in a good place. 
Hallelujah. Now, now if you sit me out in the parking lot in Texas weather, uh, this 606 degree weather, and tell me, say, sit out here a while and, and we'll get back to you in four or five hours, uh, then I've got a problem with it. Uh, oh, but listen, if you tell me, come in here and relax in this chair, and uh, we're going to bring you a little snack to eat, and uh, we're going to turn the television on and play a little music. Uh, now, we're going to take a little longer than what you want, uh, but if you need anything in the interim, let us know. Uh, for my God shall supply the uh, heart according to his riches in glory. And so God says, you may be waiting, but honey, I'm going to take care of you in the rich. Oh, that's the name of the Lord. So we get frustrated with the wind. Listen, uh, yeah, we, we, we go on to deal with uh, the, the how. Mm. Uh, now, now, how always confuses us and gets us messed up. Because how sets you right outside of faith. Somebody said, how does that do that? How deals with what you can see. When we start thinking, we we, we, we did it with millionaires, and, and, and how comes up, and we're looking for that millionaire to give us some money. But we don't know God may be making us a millionaire ourselves so that we don't have to ask anybody. Oh, that's the name of the Lord. So, so how messes us up. Hallelujah. I'm going to send you a mate. Ah, he's got to look like this. She's got to look like that. Now, the how will mess you up because you'll miss the one that God has for you. Oh, he doesn't just look good, but he knows how to take care of you. She's not just pretty, but she knows how to. Oh, my God. So, how can I mess you up? Because faith is the substance of things hoped for and the thing that you have no evidence. I don't know how you're going to do it. I don't have any evidence. I haven't figured it out yet. So don't mess with the how. You think that it will fight your expectation. Listen, I want us to deal with the 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 Hallelujah. Some of us have decided that God's going to bless us at the Potter's house. We had an exodus so big from the small church that ran over to the potter's house because where God was going to bless us was where the blessing was already fallen. Oh, uh, well, bless the name of the Lord. We left pastors that knew us by name. We left churches that have supported us for years to run to houses that we didn't know anything about because we decided the way. Been there for, 20, for, for, for the last 14 years and still sitting on the pew. Oh, well, bless the name of the Lord. I'm not condemning the potter's house. If God sent you there, then you need to work there. But praise God, after a while, if you're not working, you ought to decide that this is not my part of the vineyard. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Listen, let, let, let me move. Finally, listen. And so we cannot allow all the way out. Praise God. I'm only going to get this if I'm over here. No, 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 no. God is everywhere. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness. Is that what he said? So he can bless you anywhere. God will find you under a rock and bless you. Well, that's the name of the Lord. I'm not telling you about it. Let, let, let me move. Hallelujah. Listen. Uh, if you would go to the book of uh, Genesis, uh, praise God. In Genesis uh, chapter 16, uh, uh, we see the story of uh, Abraham and uh, Sarah. Uh, Sarah is in, bless the name of the Lord, Sarah is in her old age and has come to a point. Uh, uh, the one way that the scripture says is that, that the woman is past the flower of her age. It simply means that she no longer has uh, a monthly time. Uh, oh, bless the name of the Lord. And so Sarah is saying, uh, we've been waiting on God for a long time. Uh, 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 but baby, now let, 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 let me try to get with you and explain that perhaps uh, we miss God in that definition. Uh, I know that God told you that he was going to bless you with a child, but maybe uh, we didn't get all of the information. Uh, and so she says, listen, I've got a little girl in the back. Uh, and she's kind of cute, and she's been looking at you a little bit. Uh, and so I figured that she won't mind who get up with you. In fact, I talked to her, and she is in agreement. Uh, God bless the name of her. We get in trouble when we try to fix a 
Yeah. Uh, 